This is what I want to do. 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 You know, I really, I really want to do this. I joined the Navy to be a SEAL originally. Get to boot camp, I'm 17 years old. Uh, I've got drill instructors yelling at me and I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I just get myself into? I, I can vividly remember I was shaking. I, I was I was shaking in boot camp. I always try to be the best sailor I can be on the ship because I thought, man, if I'm the best sailor I can be on the ship, then maybe they'll send me to Buds. Buds is basic underwater demolition school and it's for all, all SEAL candidates have always had to go for it. I'm doing all this work for you guys. I've done a year, you know, two years on the ship, did a deployment. I came in to be a SEAL, like, what's going on here? If, if I try my hardest and don't make it, I can live with that. I really can. But if I never go, or some, you know, if I never get my chance, I think it'd eat away at me for a long time. I, I need to go, I just need to go to Bonds and figure out, I, I just need to go. You have to look out for, for sailors, you know. I don't know, I, I guess I just became a more caring person just dealing with the day-to-day -day issues that I dealt with. Certain situations like home life, their kids, their bills. You have to look out for, for your sailors. They don't have enough money. They, they spent all their money at the casino and they don't have any money to feed their dog. You have to look out for them. And I developed more of a motherly, mother hen role with my troops. You have to, you have to build a lot of empathy. Not to sound cliche, but you have to live each moment like you could die. We train and train and train, and that's all we do in the military is train for combat. The hangar was actually hit with um, an RPG. Your mind just like clears. And it's you just think about everything that you've learned and everything that you've done up till that point, and you just automatically know what to do. You just know. There are so many more emotions that you have to deal with besides fear, being in the military. The fear goes to the back of your head. The driving priority is, is, is safety, making sure your shipmates are safe, making sure you're safe. You want to protect them. Potentially, I could have died at that very moment. And you learn not to take as much things for granted. You're more alert, you keep your head more on a swivel. Not to sound cliche, but you have to live each moment like you could die. Because, I mean... I remember vividly sitting uh, on my couch with my third six pack. And one of those stupid Marine Corps commercials came out. Some guy slaying a dragon with a flaming sword, and climbing a mountain, doing crazy stuff. And in my drunken stupor, I'm like, I can do it. 
joined the Marine Corps in 2006 and I was medically retired in 2010. I knew I was going to retire and do something. So when I talked to my recruiter, I told him that I didn't really care what I did, I just didn't want to get shot. I knew I was going to do something. Let's do something. I didn't really care what I did, I just didn't want to get shot. It was excruciating pain, so bad in that my hand didn't work. Like I'd have tremors and it was like I couldn't move, I couldn't run. So I so I did all this training and all this, you know, dragon slaying stuff stuff I wanted to do. I didn't do it. Titanium titanium plate. The titanium plate in there, my wrist doesn't bend, move, flex, or anything else. My whole Life changed. My whole life changed all day, from being a Marine all day, every day, to homeless, being homeless, homeless to, my, my to being completely forgotten about. Completely my, forgotten transition about. Trans my, my transition has been difficult, I think. I like to think that it'll go positive. I like to think that it'll go positive. I like to think that it'll go positive experience that, you know, you kind of test your metal when you get to that point. One of the things that bothered me more than anything else is when people say that my education was free, that you get free education because you were in the Marine Corps. That is totally false. Considering what I gave up to get to this point, I gave up a hand. Uh, I gave up four years of my prime life. This is where people do cool stuff, and I'm upside down and working on helicopters so people can fly around the world and protect our freedom. Military gave me the discipline to complete what I needed to complete in a timely manner. Um, yeah, but I definitely missed out on the actual college experience of, you know, cramming for tests and. I gave up a marriage, a hand, a wife, a body. Uh, when we talk about mental insanity or any of those things that come along with it, so it was not free. It was not free in any way, shape, or form. I kind of regret it. It's, it's bittersweet to me. I kind of regret it. You, you know, I wanted to be the drum girl passed out on the lawn in the middle, you know, in the morning. <laughs> but, I mean, my younger, my younger self would have definitely said that. But at the same time, when I did go to class, I felt, you know, like I was the, you know, old frumpy girl in the back. They have the discipline to do the right thing when they're given the freedom that you get in the civilian world. And so it creates, I think, better citizens and better people, even even if your experience was like mine and it wasn't the greatest. There's there's nothing but positive things that can be taken away from it. So this is what I want to do. You know, I really I really want to do this.